Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy, and today's quick tip is an Adobe After Effects CC 2024. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to use the rotation tool. The often forgotten about rotation tool allows you to free transform the rotation property for any individual layer or multiple layers, including 3D layers, without having to actually manually adjust the rotation property on the layer. To use the rotation tool, all you need to do is select a layer or select multiple layers. You'll see the bounty boxes around this tomato. Now, if you're familiar with Photoshop, you know when you go into free transform mode, you can usually hover your cursor and you get that rotation symbol where you can rotate the layer. Well, the rotation tool will do that exact same thing. So all you need to do is just click on the rotation tool in the toolbar. You'll see the keyboard shortcut W. So W is a great keyboard shortcut to learn. When I tap W for the rotation tool, you'll see a little rotation tool icon next to the cursor. Then all you need to do is just click and just rotate in the direction that you want to rotate that layer. With the tomato layer selected, I'll tap R to reveal the rotation property. When you are using the rotation tool, as I rotate it, notice the rotation property is updating. This is really handy if you're animating the rotation property and you don't want to have to manually adjust the numbers down here, you can do so using the rotation tool. So I can add a keyframe, move the CTI forward in time, and rather than dragging these values down here, I can simply just move the rotation tool. It's gonna to add that second keyframe, and now we have the rotation. The rotation tool is going to use the anchor point as its reference point for rotating, just like if you were using the rotation property. So if you move the anchor point, so if I go to the pan behind tool, move the anchor point to the bottom. Now when I use the rotation tool, it's gonna rotate from that bottom reference point. You can also use the rotation tool to control the orientation property of 3D layers. So I'm gonna hide the other vegetables here so just the tomato is showing. I'll make this layer 3D by selecting it, going to the 3D column and just ticking the box. Now it's a 3D layer. I'll tap R to show the rotation properties. I can click on the rotation tool up in the toolbar or use the must know keyboard shortcut W. Instead of controlling the individual rotation on 3D layers, it's going to control the orientation, which can be pretty handy to move around. And one of the secret powers of the rotation tool, if you ever want to reset the rotation property back to zero for any layer or multiple layers, Regardless of whether you use a rotation tool or not, all you need to do is select the layers that you want to reset the rotation property for and just double click on the rotation tool up in the toolbar and that will reset the rotation property back to zero. So if you have ever selected an object in After Effects and have been frustrated that you couldn't free transform the rotation like you could in something like Photoshop, well, no worries. Just click on the rotation tool or learn the keyboard shortcut W. Then you can free transform the rotation for that layer. And if you ever change your mind and you wanna reset it back to zero, all you need to do is just double click to reset the rotation. And that is how to use the rotation tool in Adobe After Effects CC 2024. My name is Mike Murphy. Cheers.